Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am Darin and welcome to another edition of FCB Report. In this video guys I'm going to give you the match preview of the game between Barcelona and Atletico Bilbao. We will discuss what expectations we should have going into this game and what type of challenge we might come up against facing Atletico Bilbao at the Camp Nou. But one thing is for sure, the league has entered a critical stage and we cannot afford any slip-ups whatsoever. I want to see an immediate reaction. No, you know what? I'll take that back. I demand to see a response from the Barcelona players. So dig your heels in and stick your chest out and convince us that you deserve to wear the Barcelona shirt. So let's do it. Vamos. And of course, anytime we drop points, it hurts. But if we ought to bounce back from the disappointing result against Seville and return to winning ways, then we have to step up our game big time in this match against Atletico Bilbao. We cannot afford to drop any more points. I can't stress that enough guys. Our aim must be to win all of our remaining games. And when I say all of them, I mean precisely that. All of them. We drew against Seville in the last game and we do not have the luxury to mess up again. We must see improvements and we must see them fast. Because one bad result and we can kiss the La Liga goodbye. Because yesterday Real Madrid overcame a big hurdle as they beat Real Sociedad 2-1 and took a step closer to winning the La Liga title. And even though the win was controversial, a win is still a win. And they leapfrogged us in the La Liga standing. They are now officially the La Liga leaders and the pressure is truly on us now. But now let's move on guys. Tomorrow's game is coming to us at 10 p.m. Central European time at the Camp Nou Stadium. And I have to say that the kickoff time is a little bit late, especially if you live in Central and Eastern parts of the world. But having said that, no matter what time zone you live by, it's absolutely worth the wait because this game promises to be an exciting one for many reasons. This game right here guys could be the one Messi scores his 700th goal of his illustrious career. And if you are a diehard Barcelona fan like I am, then you absolutely don't want to miss out on that. Plus, this game is a clash between two teams that have everything to play for. Both are looking to win and end the season on a high note. Atletico Bilbao is coming to this game with a pretty good form after beating Real Betis on Saturday. And they'll be looking to extend that good form to a five-game unbeaten run. And if you recall, this Atletico Bilbao side is the the same side that beat us in the opening game of the season at San Mames. And just months later, they beat us again guys by a late goal from Inaki Williams in the 94th minute. A goal that sent us out of the Copa del Rey and dealt the first defeat to Kike Setien as the Barcelona coach. And the truth of the matter guys is that Barcelona hasn't won a game against Los Leones in two years. The last time we won against them was back in March 2018 when Lionel Messi and Paco Alcácer scored in a 2-0 win at the Camp Nou. And yes, is true Atletico Bilbao do indeed have a decent form going into this game and sure they did beat us twice this season but having said that they aren't exactly the most impressive Atletico side in recent memory they sit in ninth place in the La Liga table and so far they have been a mixed bag this season and despite being unbeaten since the restart of the league they haven't impressed all that much they drew twice in the last three matches and were lucky to walk away with three points against Real Betis but having said that they have all the motivation they'll need to go out out there and play well and make life hard for us because they are chasing Europa League spot for next season and they have everything to play for and if we are not at our best at Camp Nou then they certainly have the quality to hurt us. But as you guys probably know the Camp Nou is a fortress and Barcelona has won 24 of the last 23 matches at home so Barcelona should still win this one comfortably and besides Atletico Bilbao have not won a game at Camp Nou since 2001. But now let's move on guys because the question remains which players will Kike Setien most likely pick to start in the game tomorrow. And as usual, Barcelona will start with a 4-3-3 formation, but the big question is who will replace the suspended Biscuits in the pivot position. Sergio Roberto is injured and this means that Semedo will definitely start in the right back position. And despite Junior Firpo being one of the better players on the pitch against Leganes, I still believe that Setien will go for the safest option here and pick Alba to start in the opposite side of the defense. And at the center back positions guys we have Pique and he will most likely likely partner up with Langley because Langley has been pretty good so far this season. But it makes you wonder guys, when will Umtiti get some playing time? We cannot afford to have players on stupid
stupidly high wages, sitting by idle and contributing to absolutely nothing. Either you play him or you sell him for crying out loud. But let's move on now guys to the middle of the park where Sergio Busquets, like I said earlier, will miss the game through suspension. This is a massive, massive loss for us guys, especially if we consider that we don't have any player available to play in his position. De Jong would be a natural choice to step in because it used to be his natural position at Ajax, but he is nurturing a muscle injury and is unlikely to be available for this game. But having said that guys, I assume that Rakitic will play in the pivot role for this match. And next to him, you will have Vidal and Arthur. I would love to see Setien be brave and take a risk and start Ricky Pooch in this game instead of Arthur, but I wouldn't count on it guys. There's a lot at stake here and at the top we have the usual suspects Messi, Suarez and Griezmann but again I sincerely hope Setien starts Ansu Fati instead of Griezmann I know we all want Griezmann to be successful considering how much he cost us but he and Suarez have absolutely zero chemistry and at some point you have to admit to yourself that it just isn't working but no matter who starts here guys we have to win this game and do it convincingly no more sideways and backward passes go straight for the juggler from the first whistle no more playing around it is do or die put up or shut up improve fast or go home and lick your wounds no more excuses the fate of this season and the success of this team now rest on both the players and the coach having the right mentality attitude and the ability to make the right tactical decision when it matters the most Setien needs to show us the reason why Barcelona hired him in the first place and that Barcelona made the right decision to fire Valverde at the moment both the players and the coach are at a crossroad and the road to success starts right here so let's go out there and deliver beautiful football and bring satisfaction and joy to the Barcelona fans. My prediction for this game is 3-1 to Barcelona. I want to hear your thoughts guys on this game. What's your score prediction? Do you think Barcelona will win the game? And if so, by how many goals? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. So this is it guys. If you want more Barcelona news and analysis on all types of Barcelona related stuff, then start now by subscribing and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. But until then, this guy. El Catalunya. Oh.